Hey, this is Jet Black, and you're listening to Three Black Geeks. And get your bell peppers in beef. You said something like, oh, bitch, you cooking? No, guys, you gotta understand. This is Seagal in Italian. Maravizzi. Colazzi. Mario, Mario, Brooklyn, Bowser. Luigi, <laughs> pepperoni pizza, <laughs> butterfuoco. Now y'all just throwing out stereotypes. I, hey, I look, 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 I want to be real. I'm going to be real say, here. Are you trying to say, are you trying to say that there's stereotypes? Look, let me be real here. Movies. Let me be real here. All right, first, first, first off, first off, it's nothing against Italians. Look. If Italians and white people, I'm gonna put them in both in the same category. Italians and white, bro. So what constitutes as white people? Like Dutch, <laughs> like just a, just European as fuck. Nah, if they could sit there the whole time and, and and fuck up and make racist stereotypes about us, why can't we do it to Italians? That's all I'm saying. It's fair play. I think it is. Grazie. <laughs> You know, it's like, nah, I'm, I'm going to sit there. Eddie Murphy did it and say, get in your little IROC Z. I'm like, that's pretty fucking accurate to me. Oh, so, fuck. no, nah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. All right, gentlemen. Like, all right, gentlemen. It's been real. I'm grabbing my suitcase and getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Where you going, nigga? You ain't going nowhere. I want you no know, parts. I want no parts of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't sign. I did not sign. Hold on, hold on. Do you think this guy is going to come chasing after your ass and chance? No, not at all. Not at all. First of all, I, like, not at all. First of all, I would laugh. Uh, oh wait, hold on, uh, guys. We got an issue. With no, the no, we're Twitch. good now. We're nope, good now. we're good now. We cleared up. This, okay. This green, green check mark. We're good. I'm sorry. What happened? Were we getting? What happened? No, there no. It a, said it said Twitch had an error, but now it's green check mark. So we're good. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, all right. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no, 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 never mind. See, I, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this before we even get started. Number one, what's up, y'all? We back 3BG. We talking about <sighs> Alpha Justice. <laughs> God, this movie. Um, <laughs> like, yeah. but no, but, but but getting, but no, but go getting into the nitty gritty with this before we go fully in. I just want to let I want to let my, my, my two co hosts know one thing I refused, <laughs> repeat, I refused. To let action Trump make me angry with his attempt of acting like he's Italian. Now, I say that because since we referred to him as Action Trump for the better part of all of our Seagal podcasts, for all of them, each I had one. one thing that popped into my head and I said, and this is what made me watching the rest of this movie as pad heavy as it is. 90 minutes and it's padded. I never hold, fucking seen that on, shit hold ever. Hold on, Chris. Hold on, Chris. The only thing that made this movie as, like, as entertaining, as pad heavy as it is. I'm imagining that throughout four years, throughout four years, President, at the time, President Donald Jeremiah Trump had attempted to speak Italian, and this is what it probably sounded like. And it made, that image in my head made me laugh. And every time Seagal said anything Italian, I pictured it. You just saw blonde hair and tiny hands doing yes. this, right? Yes, and it made all those scenes so much better. Do you know that? You know, Eris. Welcome to my. I'm sorry. Fantasy. No, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me apologize to you because I have realized, guys, we probably got one more cigar movie, and holy <sighs> shit, we found this is a. Bad one. And this is supposed to be during good prime. Seagal. Prime. This Seagal. is supposed this to be prime. 19... This, Damn, is this is a... <laughs> you... this is nineteen ninety action Trump. You know, above the law and the one where he came back from the dead. Those were actually stupid. You can fuck with him though. You know what I mean? You can. You can. Kind of stupid. This stupid movie cleaned you house. You know what? I don't like the one where he's in Alaska, but God damn it, after going through all of these action Trump movies, that's my favorite Seagal movie. I love it. Just because of our boy, yeah, just because of the racism. They do. 
<laughs> I bet you're starting to see pictures, aren't you? Grazie. <laughs> no, did you know this movie? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Out for Justice made less than Mark for Death. It should. Uh, it should. Oh shit! It should. <laughs> Boy, I can imagine. May can budget imagine? don't get May budget did good. It made forty million in box office, but you fall nigga. twenty million short of Mark for Death, which made sixty million. Nick, nigga, imagine, man, you could be going. First through, of like, all, we didn't get Seagal. We didn't get as much Seagal running in in this movie that we no, did at Mark for we, we, Death. We did, we, did, we did not. We did not. But you know what? I noticed something about Seagal during this time. Everything got really a keto heavy. It, it like the beginning. Yes. It was the beginning of the grab. Flip. This is Grab. 1991. Flip. 1991. We didn't even. Get, Steven Seagal was still fit, and he still was doing this shit. I, I was looking at. I was like, wait a minute. And then when and and I put it up on TikTok on our on, on our TikTok. I was like, yo, these henchmen are incredibly dumb. What is with the AI? Like. And I was thinking, like, Seagal's, it ain't like Seagal's doing, like, these little, you know, turns and all the rest of it. He's, like, stationary. Bow, bow, bow. There's no rolling. There's no uh, 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 turning bow. No, not, not, not at all. Let me ask well, you. Hey, me, hey, put it this way. At least we actually see him reload the gun. But, guys, let me ask you guys this. Oh, my God, we did. Let me ask you guys this. What was the difference between... Out for Justice, and then he did Under Siege, which made a lot of movie. Do you think it's just a case of who was producing and directing that movie that director, made Under producer, Siege that made Under Siege better? Director, <laughs> producer, and let's be real, writer. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. it just yeah. felt like yeah. the fighting in Under Siege. We talked about it felt better than what we get in Out for Justice, and I'm like, and also let's let's be real. We got to see we got to see Homegirl naked in the movie. I'm just saying that helped. I guys, mean, yeah. guys, here's the also thing. Tommy I, Lee Jones. Yep, yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, that let, let, let's not let, 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 let let's give it some credit. <laughs> but guys, the thing about this movie to get me is that this was such a slow burn of Steven Seagal's. It was a Gino who is looking for one. I like Richie. how he went from Nico to Gino. Like, yo, this man is looking for one Richie Madano played by William Forsyth, who plays the most craziest. I do crack cocaine on in the daytime and I'm out of my fucking mind who kills uh, like just, just nuts. His, the, the body count, his body, his body count is ridiculous. He was in zero oh, fucks God. mode. Let me tell you movie. something. Let me tell you something. You guys ever wanted to see the personification of someone who is acting on five stars in, in the early nineties GTA. No, That's no. this guy. This man kills a guy who we found out fucked one of the girls that he fucked with, that he was fucking with. Uh -huh. And the said guy was married and his wife only showed Richie the picture to kind of scare her, her husband back to her. And I'm like, and the you movie, had and the movie, and the movie, and the movie took all 80 to get to that point. To get to it. And I'm looking at her Whoa. like, first off, why would you go to why would you go to a guy who clearly smokes crack like it's just cigarettes to scare your husband? That's the wrong person to do that to. Uh very second easy. All, very, I mean, very William, easy. Second, you took, of all, like, very, second of all, William very, Forsyth. <laughs> very, very easy. Very easy. You did not understand the assignment, and you took what was happening in your marriage and you gave it to a man that you clearly didn't understand. Thank you. Um, D likes to make it it's like it's like giving it to the Joker on Coke. <laughs> this man killed a lady who just beat her horn and says, "Hey, I'm trying to get home, please." And he looked at her like, and even his boy was like, "Oh shit, he gonna kill her." I'm like, "Dude, you, you could have jumped in. You could have got like, out the car and and stopped it." <laughs> Hey guys, you ever remember like the comics in the early '90s where they were trying to get ultra violent, and you would have yes. these guys like, "Leave me alone!" <laughs> you like kill innocent people for no reason. Imagine that with the focus of '90s cocaine. No, no, sir, <laughs> not cocaine, crack. The crack. finest of crack. I forgot the <laughs> finest of my the man. Finest of the Brooklyn is of crack. Guys, my man literally was smoking pipe in his passenger seat of the car before he was like, "Hey, don't fucking talk to me." No sleep, <laughs> dead. 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 
Hey, look. Hold on. I'm going to let... No, 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 no. No, stop. Stop everything. Stop everything to both of you. First of all, that movie did not deserve that song. <laughs> it really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the Beastie Boys is like we no. don't condone, we don't condone no. violence that women and children no. die. Yo, no. 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 I had to pause the movie. I'm like, but you know what though? No, but you like, know this, what? Th this movie did not deserve uh, to, that to song. William Forsythe's credit, he knew the assignment. And I appreciate he stuck with that he shit knew from, the assignment from beginning to end. He never let up. I give it to him. He knew the assignment, and guys, we can. This is going to be a weird segue that we can go into for one second with it. This is why he knew the assignment. Ninety cell phone. Just let it go. Do 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 do. Hey Ray, how many lines of coke? Oh, but it, they want me to be a crackhead. Oh, so we'll just cover everything. Two bags, huh? Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I look. I love you too. I love you too. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we love Ray Liotta. He, we will miss him. We will fucking miss Ray Liotta. Oh, that being said, William saw foresight in this movie. No bullshit. And this is much like our love of Joel Silver being a cokehead. There is something about the energy. And it's called Ray Liotta Coke Energy. That energy is now embedded in Three Black Geeks history. And, and, and that's what he has, Ray Liotta Energy in this William fucking movie. Forsyth, that's what, that, that's what we call it here in 3BG. My, <laughs> my very first movie of William Forsyth, I don't know if we, we talked about it. I think we talked about it briefly in The Substitute because he's in that movie. But my very, first movie, my very first movie with him was Raising Arizona. Him and John Goodman had a fucking connection that was like fucking off the goddamn chain. I gotta it was, see that. Like again, I gotta see. Um, I gotta see that. Break but that he, but he kept that same energy in every movie he's in. Fucking Dick Tracy, Gotti, <laughs> fucking Devil's Reject as the crazy ass fucking sheriff going after those fuck the, the crazy group and shit. Mm. Like he keep that energy in every movie. He's a he's a great character after this. Like you want me to go nuts? Which, All right, cool. Speaking of which, speaking of which, um, I don't know if it's gonna be next year, but it's definitely on our list now, uh, guys and everybody else there. We're going to talk about Gotti. I don't know when, but we're definitely going to talk about Gotti. I've been that's been what I've been circling. No, you you yeah. referring to no, you're referring to the Passion Project. Oh, I'm talking about the good one. That's what I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the good the one. Okay. Unless you're talking about the other one with um. John I'm talking Cooper. about Amanda Sante. Amanda Sante. No, I no, no, I was talking, talking no, I was no, I was talking. I was referring to the other one. My bad. Oh yeah, 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 yeah John the other one. We're not talking about Travolta. Again. I was gonna no, say we, that. We're no, done. I was talking about. I'm talking about that one where. <laughs> Let's be real. He We're wanted no, no. He wanted to play that. Everybody listen to that episode. It's a really good episode because whole because imagine if you will, you got all the like like all right, teacher. The teacher go on and say, all right, this is the project going to do. Blah blah blah. Get us all oh, bet. I got new pencils. I got new. I got all this erases. I got nice all uh, fucking paper. I got these rulers and shit. My big brother, he actually is going to help me on this project. It's going to be beast as shit. And you don't do none of the work. <laughs> Nothing happens. Just like I and you just rush it. And it, God, he had so much potential. Yeah. They thought this was gonna be Pit, a breeze. Pit, 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 Pitbull was on on the soundtrack a lot, like a whole lot. Anyway, can so, we talk about how? Speaking of Italians and stuff that don't fit, this Jewish, this, yes, Russian Jewish <laughs> man, which is Steven Seagal from Michigan, Upalipu. Italiano quesadilla. There was a lot of uh Italians, including uh Robert Lasardo, who always plays Hispanic, playing a Italian person. So again, yeah. which is weird, again, isn't I, it? Again, <laughs> it's I always were, weird when he switched to it's like, wait, 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 what nigga? Take the tattoos off, you? take all the what tattoos off of him, put a fucking no. Adidas tracksuit on him. All of a sudden he's Italian now. No, no, no. <laughs> again, it's like I told you, it's like I told you, gents before. I refuse. <laughs> 
I refuse to to let that anger me. That performance. I'm not thing, angry. It's no, funny. no, no, no. That per, no. I I refuse to be insulted by that performance. <laughs> Hold on, but I say after you know, like comedy aside, you know, my my coping mechanism of of getting through this movie, uh, the filter I used basically. I mean, I like I like how. Well, Hold on. Like- Hold on. I say all that to say this. Seagal, promise me. For, I mean, promise me that you will never do a role like that again. You are not allowed to ever play an Italian again. He's going to say, hold my beer. I'll do it again. No. The best and then I'll movie. say, and I, hold up, D, and I'll say, can you move? Also, also, you know what? It's Seagal, amazing that- Seagal had to beat on a black man because we get our man Goose from Trespass getting the bricks beat off. Bro, I was so mad. I'm like, what is it with? I was like, yo, what is it with this dude? This man gets his ass handed to him by Seagal. He gets punched by freaking Ice T and goes through a building with no his respect back broken. No respect. No, no respect, respect you know what? whatsoever. I want, I want to throw something at people that that it doesn't go over your head. But a lot of us forget this fact about um action Trump movies. Do you notice that he doesn't fight nobody on his level? If you're lucky, you might get the henchman that might be on his level. Wait, Maybe. which one? Which one? Of all these movies, uh, pick a random. Who really was the last? I'm, ju- boss I'm, ju- I'm, I'm that jumping. I'm jumping. Go, go, oh shit! Michael John White for a second. No, 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 no. If we can hold on, if we're gonna relegate everything to just this movie. If we're gonna relegate everything to just this movie, I'll tell you who I thought it was gonna be. Real talk. A random Asian guy in the bar. No, nope, not even him. <laughs> he came to he was too early. So I was like, nah, <laughs> he definitely ain't it. I'll let you finish because I got something on that. I'll tell you who I thought it was, and the movie didn't push the envelope and further disappointed me. Mm-hmm. The only dude to have the most realistic leg to be shot off with a shotgun. Oh, be that real, guy. that guy. Yeah. Oh, you you ruined me. Ah. Richie, hold up. R- real talk. Richie's Richie's right hand man. Dude was his right hand man because every time he kept having that look, like, God, this man. I'm like, dude, like this guy's out of his. Like, he's high fucking out of his mind. fucking mind. Fucking mind. But fucking mind. Not fucking. Like, mind. but hey, if fucking I say mind. anything, if I say anything, he'll probably kill me. Like, just off a of general principle. So now, you know, I got just gonna let him. it rock. You know, I got a fucking mom. You know, I got to got to watch out with my fucking mom. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I, I just, like I'm just gonna let it rock. I really thought it was gonna be him, but no, 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 no I thought no, he was no, gonna no. be Shiva too, Eris. I really thought the same thing. You know what? No, see, see, you, you know wrong. what? No, you dude, know what? You wrong, sir. You are wrong. Dude. Hey, no, no, I'm not wrong. I'm no, wrong. you're wrong of calling him Shiva. He no. was, he was not worthy of that title. No, no, no. You know what he was worthy of? Do he at least because he got on leg and he's going to have a big leg. No, he is not worthy of Shiva because, first of all, he didn't even throw a punch. But you know what the best thing I like about it, Eris? As a dude that was in this whole movie making glares and all the rest of this shit, for him to get his leg shot off, that was the last we seen of him. Yeah. All I'm saying is, like, what was with the affirmative action hire of the Was Asian that the closing of the book? No, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> was that the closing of his book? He's in, know, people, He's in the hospital. in the hospital. I need That's y'all it. to realize this. Technically, this man has had 15 minutes of screen time and has Total. at least has at least eight times spoken on camera. He gets his leg shot off. Do you know the last words you hear of him? Ah, you son of a bitch! Ah, my leg! Yeah, my leg! I had headphones on. Do you know that they dubbed him? Four, they, they 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 just did the five seconds and they uh, looked they the three ADR'd times. Him. They, they yeah, they looked the three times. That was the closing of the book, Eris. That was the closing. Look, look, Eris, Eris. No, no, I'm sorry. All you filmmakers out there, look at me, look at me. All you future filmmakers out there, that's how you fucking write a movie. That's the shit I live for. Can I just say I miss dumbness? Can I just say I, 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 I miss affirmative action higher goons. On, on 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 white groups. Oh shit! These bet be did. Oh, William Forsythe might be attacking you, D. <laughs> they cut the power. They cut the power. <laughs> <laughs> they cut the power. <laughs> they cut the power. <laughs> 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 
William Forsythe is about to kill D. It's gonna be coked up like I heard you talking about me. <laughs> Nigga, why are you still high <laughs> in current year? I don't know. <laughs> hey, D's alive. Um, no, oh, I. I <laughs> <laughs> oh man and you're muted D again that was perfect okay y- yeah you're muted you're, you're still you're muted. muted still muted so this movie um oh. Says Mike not connect. No, nah, but I miss aff- I miss affirmative action hires that are on Goon Squad because how are you the only Asian dude in the bar and they just snap their finger, go after him? I'm like, so your job is to just sit there on the side of the bar and wait for shit to pop off. Can't not just that, it. not just that dude. They don't even give you a real name. Dude's name is Sticks. <laughs> I feel Yo. that's racist. I feel that's racist. It but is. I can't prove it. It is. It is. You know it. It's chopsticks, and you know it. <laughs> I'm mad that they call them sticks. Shut and it's up. Short. Chopsticks. It is short for chopsticks. I, I think it's a chopsticks. God damn. You understand? This level. This is a level of racism. I don't think these millennials are fucking ready for. It. You know what I'm saying? No fucking little kids. They don't ain't ready for this fucking type of racism. You know, fucking mooks and the fucking niggas. You know, they need, you know. <laughs> I mean, consider that they did shoot this in half of a Bronx tale. I mean. <laughs> I like how they just grab six uh, Italian dudes and say, hey, you're going to be the Don, the rest of you the goons. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know any of these actors. I am so sorry. No, some of them I don't know. Seen. I don't reckon. I, I can't. Can I say? Can I say also for the record? Gray hair, gray hair. Hold on, sir, sir, oh, sir, sir, no. sir, oh, sir. Just came to me. Yeah, oh, can, can I really say for the record? There were two things wrong with this movie. Number one, action Trump being Italian. Number two, oh, uh, like number two, they they get should... funnier every time you say it. <laughs> Number two, they chose the wrong. They chose the wrong title. This movie should not have been called. This movie should not have been called "Out for Justice." It really should have just been called "Everybody is a Piece of Shit" because because everybody. everybody in this whole everybody. movie is a piece of shit. Well, well, hold on, well, hold everyone on. Except, yo, hold on. No, no, no. Except except for Lieutenant Briscoe from Law and Order. No, no. Well, outside of him, yeah, but come on, he's true. supposed. True. Yeah, out, outside of him, but that what don't am I count. supposed to do? That don't count. I mean, no, that, really, that doesn't count too. because he's only in the movie for like what, th- like four scenes at most, with a yeah. minimum, like yeah, with, a minute, with, a minute, the, with a minute, with a minute, with a minute in the, minimal in, of no, dialogue. No no, 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 no. He's there in the beginning, and then he stops after Seagal says, "Just give me a shotgun and an unmarked car, and I do my job." Pops Bro, up in the he's pop, written pops no no pops up in the middle of the movie briefly for Seagal to give him exposition of what he's found in an investigation. Fucking disappears and it pops up at the end and say, "Good job, credits." And I'm like, he barely even said that, dog, nigga. Dog. He no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this from a filmmaker's perspective, dog. You literally wrote yourself out of the movie the moment exactly. he told you. The moment he told you, "Give me an unmarked and a shotgun." I'll take care. I'm of he didn't even first. hold on. He didn't even argue it. He just said, "Okay." <laughs> Chris, look and at me, just look like me. that, you're done. Look at me, look at me, look at there me. There is look no further me. use. You your boy. Your, hold on, hold on, D. You served your purpose. You may die now. No, no, thing. no, no. Don't Chris, put it here's down. my thing. Your boy. Awesome. I mean, your boy. Liquid snake, Chris. That's 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 my reference. Anyway, Fox. go ahead, dude. Die. No, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, no, Chris, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Um, uh, uh. That dude, oh, ah, fuck, I forgot. Anyway. <laughs> nah, it's it just, to me, it, it, to me it was just like that Gina Gershon being a fucking whore that she I, always plays. Stop! Stop! Hit the break. Stop the break. Stop it. Stop it. I mean, really, Seagal and her, you know, 
throwing in sexual innuendo jabs like oh i didn't know that your mouth still works and that i'm like come on dog like i get it she does good blow jobs cool i get it. I, I needed the uh I, I needed that moment from from super hot fire when she said what am i supposed to give you a little head and we just forget about the whole thing it would have never worked darling you were never that good i don't know gina gershon probably is good possibly no, no. i'm just saying that that yeah, yeah that, that, that response that that was a burn yeah i'm true. sorry and, 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 and chris i saw killer joe They'll still meet on that fucking chicken bone. No, she don't. Showgirl says otherwise, but you're right. You're right. No. You're right. No. First of all, Chris, that was literally a year later. So. She had, she and also and also Jenny Gershon had a gun to her head. That means you desperate, so you're gonna get the best blow job of your life. And guess what? They would still meet on that fucking that's chicken, chicken bone. That's, that's chicken. Not even no chick is gonna get no, it. No, 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 no. Chris, listen to me. If a girl has a whole piece of chicken with me, everything's still on the damn chicken wing, chicken, and she put and he makes her fillet it because holy crap, that's in. If any of you seen Killer Joe, y'all it's a be wild like, ass movie. It's a wild movie. That's what I said. Hey, yo, Matthew McConaughey. Every joke I make about you, it's in love from this point <laughs> on. And it has been with him because he is amazing in that movie. But anyway, anyway, that scene is just like, yo. But here's a here's the funny thing. There was still meat on that bone, Christopher. Here's the wild part. This movie that was, was a good. Or that was a girl from the hood. This movie was supposed to be. That was a two, Spanish girl. <laughs> this movie was supposed to be two hours. <laughs> I'm done. You want to know why it wasn't two hours? Because Steven Seagal cut William Forsythe scenes because he thought he was upstaging him. And these were story and character development stuff that got cut. I'm not saying it would have made the Wait. movie better, but you, but you felt William Forsythe upstaged you, which he really did. I mean, let me get so this let me, straight. So, let me get, so, no, no, no. Let me get this straight. So you mean to pure, tell me? Let me get no. Pure, this is a pure D, Trump move. No, this is a pure Trump. Never mind move, that. Way, never too. mind. No, never mind that. Let me get this straight. You mean to tell me, Mister Seagal? I'm speaking directly to you. You mean to tell me that a guy blitzed out of his fucking skull, who who barely had 20 lines worth of dialogue, none of them memorable. None of them, by the way. None of them. And Not a goddamn mean, one. Most of his... And, and you mean... Uh, like, hold on, Dean. Let me finish. Let me finish. And you mean to tell me that was upstaging you? What does that say? Hold on. What does that say about you as an actor, sir? Well, the fact, that every, the fact that everybody said that uh, Steven Seagal was a fucking asshole on set, which I'm like, surprise, surprise. We've been never mind that. that. He's always I never heard asshole. about that. I never no, heard about that. That's no, shocking. No, no, no. That, uh, nigga, nigga. Water is still wet. This is nothing I'm new sorry, to me. Dog. Seriously. But what does that say about you as an actor if you believe this is upstaging you? Oh, oh. Hey, 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 y'all. I hate to. Go I hate ahead. To I'll wait. I hate, I hate to let take me enjoy a my big. Day. And I hate to take a big shit in, in, in this in this fucking uh, uh, um, cereal bowl, y'all. But this is also the movie where there's allegations that Steven is a girl sexually assaulted a girl, but he didn't get charged for it. So you know, don't 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 take that against his character. I fucking hate Seagal so much, yo. Do you know that this nigga got the fucking do what? It makes sense now. The last like now, earlier, remember what I just told you? Seagal always fight people who are like, you know, niggas that work at banks and shit. You know what I mean? It's literally <laughs> no, I'm serious. This is literally the Chicago Bulls versus the staff at Comcast at your local Comcast <laughs> substation. Like, yo, it's 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 ridiculous. It's a wash, right? So I'm thinking to myself, hey D, you remember when he fought Henry Silva and he literally folded him? I'm like, yeah. So D, what's gonna happen? William Forsythe is about to get fucked up. <laughs> now you tell me. Now that you oh, tell God. me. Chris, now that you tell me. That makes that that makes that, that third William act Forsythe. So... That William Forsythe upstaged this nigga. You know what he said? I know what he did. He probably gave that nigga a concussion. He's like, hey, guys, 
I don't need to see you look good. And William Forsythe, because he's a good actor, unlike your f- pussy ass. <laughs> you know what he said? Um, you know what he said? You know what he said? Yeah, do the see me. I don't think it look good. And guess what? He kicked that nigga's ass the whole um, time. This is Yo, awesome. Can I it also, was amazing. No, hold on. D, here's the funnier part. That, that third act, that final fight... Good God! What felt Yo. like we said? Hold on. What what felt like we sat through three hours to get to that final fight? William Forsythe goes against goes against a uh, Seagal, and here's me, uh, bro. Why do you keep giving Seagal shit to beat the shit out of you with? I know. I'm like, stop giving this he dude in this shit. Like a stick. <laughs> He had one good move, and that was the initial opening. I'm gonna charge and tackle him, and at that point, it went sideways. Hey, you know what this was? My nigga played Toro with your ass. Nigga, this was literally, this was literally, <laughs> Seagal, no, this is literally Seagal giving you like, Will Force, like, hey man, I want to play the video game. And Seagal playing a PlayStation 4 hands this nigga a Nintendo controller. Like, yeah, you can fight me. <laughs> That's what it looked like. That's what the now, fight now, looked now, like. Now, 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 there's a story. There's a story about this movie, if you, if you heard. <laughs> um, Gene LaBelle, he's a stunt, stunt performer. Oh, this God. was the this Damn this was it. I'm sorry. This sorry. this was the movie that um if you heard this story, Steven Seagal made the claim at one point that um due to him being a good trainer, good practitioner of Aikido, he's immune to being choked out. Okay. So the story goes, if I'm you sorry. heard and I've heard this story I've before. Never heard this story before. Oh yes. Okay. I'm ready for um, this. Uh, uh uh Gene LaBelle alongside a lot of other people, about 30 plus people that were watching. Was like, I'll take that challenge. Choked Steven Seagal out to where he shitted on himself and passed out. <laughs> wait, wait, who did it? Gene LaBelle, right? Gene LaBelle. Gene LaBelle trained Ronda Rousey, and Ronda Rousey confirmed that Gene was actually telling the truth. But every time people asked Gene about it, he was like, hey, there were 30 other people there. You asked them. Which he basically more or less confirmed it happened, but he was just like, I ain't gonna so, say it. So, but that happened. So, okay. So, which he would later go on and shit on Van Dam for the rest I know, of his right? life at that I point. I know, right? <laughs> now, if you remember at this time too, Steven Zagal was out here ch- trying to challenge other people, you know, because yeah, I kick his ass. Yeah, and I think and I remember like, that grown <laughs> man. There were ten. There was like hey, at least hey, it was like it was like it was like five to ten martial I'm artists that was like. Blood. Yeah, there was like five to ten martial artists that was like, all right, Steven, we'll take you up on that offer. And it never happened. Never happened. Let me tell and you Gene, something. And Gene was one of them. And Gene was like, all right, I mean, I choked you out and made you shit yourself, but all right, cool. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do it. Fine. It's cool. amazing. It's amazing when it comes to um these um actors who uh flex their their you know how good they are in real life. It's amazing how um life comes at them fast in different ways sometimes <laughs> like real talk with 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 with, 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 with john claw it happened way later in his career you know what i'm saying in 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 the case of like uh oh man the dragon the dra- uh, don the dragon he forever will like flex like i'm the best and all that john Cla- i'm like for steve seagal what really happened was a lot of people like you know aikido is really not you know practical in a fight right you do realize that, right? No, see, Mr. Satan actually kicks and jumps and has a rocket pack. You can't beat that. You got a rocket pack. <laughs> my kid. And, can't no, and he has an ex- hold on. Wait, and he has an exploding Game Boy. <laughs> this oh, thing was making C4 explosives. <laughs> look here, look. I'm just saying. Look. Oh, god. Steve's a goal. Steve's a goal has goddamn nerve to finally be well, man, you know, stuff is real no rest that. I like how when any question comes up with Steve's a goal to Mike Tyson, <laughs> Mike just keeps it, yeah, man, you know, yeah, Steve's cool, man. This is what he's like. Well, can you fight him in a minute? Can you beat him a fight? <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, hey, stop, stop. Like, you know I could fuck him up. Don't do that. Like, like the look on Tyson's face, like, stop asking me that damn question before I get up and hit that man just to shut you the fuck up. <laughs> Which is me. Do it. Do it. I'm like, do it. Do like, it. be hilarious. Be I'm, hilarious. I'm like, who's stopping you, Tyson? Boy, Mike, actually, you will be Michael? an inspiration to the world. <laughs> hey, Michael, who's stopping you? Think about it, think about it. Big ass black man, <laughs> Mike Tyson. The embodiment I go of full government. Say Michael. 
<laughs> think about it, Harris. Think about it. I want you to Michael. imagine this, Harris. Imagine this, Harris. Michael Michael Tyson is the embodiment of the rage of black men. If you ever hear this t- podcast, you are hearing a dude that is unveiling his soul. It is one of the most therapeutic fucking podcasts you ever hear because he's being fucking real with every single thing that comes in his mouth. And he knows that some of the shit is just crass, but he say, hey, man, I'm going to get better because that's what I want to fucking do. It's amazing. This man at this point is a Jesus figure. How amazing would it be if in just some something like they're doing a movie together again and in the middle of it, John Claude, oh, uh, not John Claude, I'm sorry. Uh oh, Steve was gone for whatever reason and said, hey, you know what? You niggas are all right. And Mike on camera punches him dead in the face. I mean, Seagal, like clearly, wig going this way. Oh, what? You think he got real hair? You think all of that is real? No, no, no. He, no, no, no. no. He, ain't, he ain't Stevie Wonder, nigga. No, that's a wig. Fly, I'm, fly, yo. I'm already yo, way. I'm already way past. That. I am. You gotta think about it. How inspirational would that be? That the embodiment of black men hit the real embodiment of all these white people that are just lazy and just get by on life and just do nothing but be just be pieces of shit for the rest <laughs> of their life. And guess what? It coast, it coast because you want to know the fucked up part about Seagal? He's loaded. That's the effed up part about Seagal. He's loaded. Can I just point out the fact that there's Whoa, a, there, there, there's 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 how there's beautiful there. for us would it be to see Mike Tyson? You know how, wow. D, let me tell. Hold on, let me explain. Ooh, ooh. Hold up, D. Let me answer that what for up? you. Not only would that be therapeutic, let, let it. Hold on, D. Let it. It wouldn't just be therapeutic. This would happen. You know how they say. You, you know how they say sometimes in life you see a double rainbow. Yeah. If Tyson was to actually knock out Seagal in one hit, no lie, we would see this. <laughs> do, 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 we will do, just see. Do, I shit you not. We will see do, in the sky Martin Luther King. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, God. I ain't shit. I ain't shit. I look, 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 man, look. We had Rain this. Is, look, 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 look. Uh, that little no. rant. Look, Chris. <laughs> Chris, you shake your head. That little rant I did, plus that little shit right there with with uh, Martin Luther King approving what I just said. Check this out, Chris. I had to extend that. And the padding I did was the better than the padding that was in this movie. My thing is this. Um, <laughs> who this that fl- off, I, dude? That flimsy. <laughs> that flimsy ass subplot with guarding his wife and their I divorce. Crackheads built better. This movie. No, like that. It's a flimsy story. There's a flimsy subplot because they got to pad the movie out where it looks like him and his wife. It sounds like they had a stupid ass argument, but they're estranged. But yet it doesn't feel like his wife hates him. It's just like they had a dumb argument and that's why they separate. I'm like, okay, sure, movie. Sure, I'm supposed to give a fuck about their relationship, I guess. Boy, you know, you know, that's actually when the first time I realized he talked Italian. He's like, Yeah, oof, I'm like, Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 I, don't wait, think, wait. I don't think he actually said Italian. Right there, right? <laughs> he did it like eight times. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they put they had the they had the audacity to put fucking subtitles on that bullshit. That's what pissed me off. <laughs> they put <laughs> fucking. They put oh, subtitles on that shit. Him. The way I laugh, the way I have an Italian person beside me more in my life to tell oh, me, yo, God. did he actually say this shit? The way I sat there and I was like, that's the equivalent. <laughs> I really feel Steve to go bullshit the Italian. It's like that. You remember that black lady that bullshitted sign language at that shit and was all doing all this and stuff? Yeah. And look, look, number one, us as black, I love us as black folks that we were like, you know what? First off, man. We respect the hustle. We respect. We respect. We respect. We respect, respect us. Get the fuck respect. off stage. Get, now get the hell off stage. I respect <laughs> respect now. I respect, respect the hustle. Me. Hey, hey I, you're not helping. No, no, here's the thing. I respect the hustle because it's white people that hired her ass and didn't even vouch for her. So I was like, you know what? Get your money. Get your money. Right. <laughs> here's the thing. I, here's the thing I, I hate about black folk, man. But I just heard about this girl who in Texas who just it was uh she um, credit repair. Yeah, the credit repair girl down in Houston. Yo. Why did I look at the fucking comments thinking, hey, D, this is Twitter. People think, you know, rationally. 
I, I don't see what's so wrong. She a hero in my eye. Yeah, man. She's just trying to fuck over the government. Here's me. I understand that. But she fucked over everybody she tried to help. And you, you. Look, Plus how, making her. Also, D, here's the thing, too. Bad guy. But, but D, here's this the thing. is what happens when you say, Ugh, you gay because you look at cartoons. You don't understand the structure of the world because all you see is uh, uh, is music videos and, and then fucking. I'm sorry. I'm but sorry. D, that was your thing. World. Here's where she <laughs> fucked up. You use. You filed false police reports. Even if I'm saying, even if I'm fucked the police, you're still a criminal because you used fake police reports. Wouldn't you? You really thought you were going to get away filing fake police reports? No you know, one is like certain crimes of uh, of. Uh, I get where you why you would get that. Why you'd be so close to the hive, yeah. making that type of crime. But there are some shit like dog. You doing this inside the IRS building? What is your problem, type of shit? You know what I mean? That's what it is. Like it's there like, are some things, like dog. There's fucking with fire, and then there's putting your dick literally inside, <laughs> literally inside of an engine. Like dog, are you serious? Dog, the way like I ain't dog, saying that it won't come out of scape. It probably just, it just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I think is this when he started speaking Italian, they put subtitles. I fucking died laughing because it's supposed to be this big insightful scene important scene because the whole crux of it is steven seagal he grew up in the neighborhood and the italian mafia despite him being a cop yeah the mafia despite him being a cop they like him because he's not hey. getting you know hey. he's not because he's not getting oh, into oh yeah because he's not getting into their shit because he's like look as long as you ain't doing anything that's fucking stupid i'll turn an eye to that shit because family now, if you're a black guy, no, it's not because like, uh, like, like, like if you do any of the mob stuff, hey, keep it to your block, man. I make sure everything's all right. Now, if you're a pimp, I'll fucking kill you in front of everybody. I don't care, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. if you're it's black. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If they're black, I'll probably kill you way quicker. You don't even have to be a pimp, I'll probably kill you. It's not even that, it was just more of hey, let's get one thing straight. We all might, I might be from the same neighborhood as you, but nigga, I never liked you. I never cared about you. I didn't even like you when I was a kid. Let me tell you something. If you were to fall off a cliff, die in a car crash, or let's, or some other fucked up thing happen to you, I really wouldn't care. Like, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Nothing. Now, understand something. <clears throat> if this was anybody else saying this to a mobster, especially a Don, they'd have been dead right there in the oh, restaurant. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, yeah. <laughs> right there in the restaurant, they'd have been dead. Hold on. But because, because it's Gino, I mean, uh, the Don goes, I understand how you feel. I, I really do. But I know. He did the handshake. But I know what you're saying isn't actually true. Oh. I'm like, bro, are, are you serious? He just said it right there in front of you and all of your boys. He made you look like shit. Can't show him that. Hey, 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 hey. He's just a little kid. It's okay. It's all right, Juno. You're okay. I gotta say um, again. No, no, no. Mozzarella. The again. Olive Garden. No. Well, you hear your family, you know? (laughs) The I don't care. care. Your breadsticks are trash. Your soup tastes like water. Gutsy. (laughs) Um, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> can i be real See? hold on proves my point you picture trump doing this shit it's funnier <laughs> my man this blood here my man, like I, I would say this to 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 to, 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 to the golf credit when he beat those people with that pool ball inside the towel, I hurt for those folks because that oh, is like, holy oh, shit. Oh, the cue ball. Woo! Bro, cue ball out jutsu. Of his mouth. My Woo. man used cue ball jutsu. Mm. Look, here's mm. the thing again. Hey, so, I got a question. This D, D, D's a little, you know, fuck me, but hey, so, oh, I got a question. Why? 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 Because, you know, I play Final Fight a lot, and <laughs> I don't think there was a purpose of getting the knife when the dude's meters were this big. Why did you have to he do that? He punched the old man tending the bar because I'm angry 
at his partner getting killed. The old man is just like, yo, I'm doing my job. I like how he's picking a fight with a retired boxer going, hey, you good back in the day. Hey, I like how he started going. Yo, how did you like like he went from Cigar Akita? Yeah, talking like this. And then he walks over to the the bar team. Hey, you want to fight back in the day? I'm like, hey, Raphael, stop. Yeah, you pick your fights with an old Stop man it. who is literally First just saying, yeah, look, I get you angry, but you're Yo. not supposed to cross this line here. Hey, no, no, no. What are you doing? Nope, nope, nope. No. I gotta I gotta side with uh I gotta side with Action Trump here because first of all as you sided with them. No, no, no. Lines here, no. Dude. Let me finish, Chris. Let me finish. <laughs> Let me finish. I be a I specific just, point. Let me finish. I had to side with him because number one, <laughs> number one. Dude should have never answered that question. Oh, so you're a tough guy. He asked six people in that room. Oh, you're a tough guy, huh? Oh, you think you're a tough guy? Just because you're an old-ass boxer from back in the day. My nigga, I'm sorry. Just because you went toe-to-toe with Big Willie Johnson from Ready to Rumble does not mean that you're ready to go toe-to-toe with Action Trump when he still has one movie left before he becomes point zero of shitness, okay? Hey, 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 Chris. Hey, Chris. This is funny. This is why Yakuza has a rule where you really can't go GTA in it just hitting people the way you fucking want exactly. to. Exactly. Because just imagine somebody on a level of Kazi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no not Kazi. I'm not sorry. No, not. I was going to say somebody on a level of Kiryu, and I thought to myself, that would be insulting to Kiryu. All right. Imagine somebody on the level of Duck King walking through. No, 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 no. <laughs> imagine somebody on the level of Dan Habiki. No, Richard Meyer. Dan Habiki when he is when he has Richard COVID. Meyer is respectable, Chris. You take that. No, no, back. no, 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 no. Dan Habiki when he has COVID, sick COVID. Dan Habiki, somebody on that level, trying to beat up everybody, beat up the ball to the. You know what, man? I always wanted to beat up my my, my old science teacher in the second grade. I ain't first gonna put the nigga in a movie and hit him over the side of the head. First off, first off, so go, action, action, action. Trump wouldn't do. Action. Trump wouldn't do that with Frank Vincent with the bat because Frank Vincent with the bat has plus five on block with frames. I know, right? <laughs> no, but I'm, but I'm just. But if I may, I'm sorry. If did I, you just say frames? <laughs> that, pool, that pool cue in the bar in the in, in a towel does not have nothing on Frank Vincent in a bat. That's no, but Chris, like, but Chris. But Chris, going back to my original point, I'm still, I'm, I still had to side with it because again, you should have never answered that question. Yeah. Number two, like number two, when you decided to go for a swing to take your best shot against Action Trump, why did none of your boxing training come back and you did not get ready? Get ready, thank you. He didn't even get ready. He just threw a freaking punch like he's a damn street fighter. Bro, you are in a bar with this much space. But Steven Seagal, to be fair, though, he didn't have to push the old man down. That's all I'm saying. I got another question. He might not have had to, but come on. It's a mob bar at this point. But you're crossing the line. You don't cross right, that line. Right, you can right, you right, can right, throw right. anything away, but you don't push the guy down and instigate the fight. It's like, what the fuck? Come on, dog. Like, all right, check this out, at, the same time, at the question. same time, CJ, at the same time, CJ, despite how you may feel, the nigga got off light. I know he got off late. All I'm saying is, it's like, dog, you could have beat up anybody, but you go behind the bar like you're doing something. And when you had the guys that really did it in front of you, so it's like, now you're just movie. picking fights, sir. Now the you're just picking is, fights. Chris, the movie many... is called Out for Justice. Yeah, you don't Nothing, pick, you don't hold pick on. fights. No, at this point, with you, with you being the main character and you having several layers of armor... A plot armor on top of you. Nothing is just off about to say, Eris. No, Nothing is off limits. question. Yes, Both yes, of you. How much damage did he take in this movie? I It just hit me. Outside of seeing him get shot or like nicked no, no. once. Remember when he got shot underneath the table? The dude, he was like, he just, ah, uh, it didn't show any damage after that? D, D, two times. Okay. Two times. What was your two? The pull stick to the legs. Which okay, is what, yeah. Which is when we got the whole knee. That shit. Followed by uh, him actually. I'm sorry, getting... sorry. What did you just call it? The OE. I just heard. I just heard wind. Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
that was the I mean that was the first time. The second time, the second time was uh was when he got shot. I swear to God. That's it. This nigga played this game on easy mode. No, 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 no he didn't play it on easy mode. Easy mode play, no, 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 no. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody speed run while padding <laughs> at the same time? Dog, why are you like, <laughs> moving chairs that don't need to be moved and you're making designs and shit? This man did a kill oh. all. No, he did a kill all run. <laughs> My man sat there as D put the video on on TikTok. You're a henchman. You have the element of surprise to at least pinch action Trump. And you say surprise. And he like, you have a gun. Shoot him in the fucking leg. No, mm-hmm. no, 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 no. You, you showed gotta, a rubber. I got you, asshole. Of course, they got to make noise. Why they have do to you do noise. this? Why do you come around a corner and you say the following words? You're dead. Why do you do that? Hold on. You know He's not, wait, wait, wait. He's not even the only one. The fucking baker, like the dude running that freaking deli, has the gun. Why are you talking? Eris, imagine if you will, you went to work that day. I don't think a dude's going to come in here and kick my ass and put a fucking knife through my hand. Was any of that necessary, by the way? The knife in the hand? Damage. The knife in the hand? I would say so because they came in here with a weapon and he just countered. Counter- Gotta be shoot, honest with you. Counter- I, 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 they did it to themselves. The, the one person, yeah, the one person you. I was not feeling bad for was the hatchet to the hand. And he's just screaming, so go look at him like, hmm, cool story, bro. And just walks out as dude's like, ah, ah. I'm like, well, you did come out with a hatchet. What did you think was going to happen, dog? Like, after you saw your, after you saw the first two guys get dropped, I would have been like, you know what, dog? You got it and just left. Seriously, my man getting thrown out the window was the one that got me. I was like, you know what? Imagine if you, <laughs> you're not gonna shoot an unarmed guy. No, is it? No, but you forget this is a Skull movie, and it's gonna be the most over the top, unnecessary thing possible. Yeah. Let, uh. let, no, let me show you. Let me tell you how unnecessary it was. This man emptied the clip, took turned the safety on, took all the bullets out, dropped the gun just to push him out. Do you know the fun part about that, Eris? Right before that, you made, there was another dude. He shot in another room because he thought Seagal was there. Seagal did a behind, uh, around the corner shot. And I was thinking to myself, there was actually no point of you doing that. What cool points did you think you was going to get, you know, 20 instead of 10 points for that? What did you, what, what, what style point did you think you was going to get off that, my nigga? Also, that was impractical as shit. And you know, shooting around a corner is stupid as fuck because that's not a good position for your hand. And it would actually, you know, shoot more towards the ceiling than actually directing at somebody. You know, fuck all that. It doesn't matter. I, I did love, matter. I did love the matter. action Trump attempt at no scoping. Gotta love that. Gotta love that because you know what? Shoot it, shoot it like this, waist like wait <laughs> with the gun distant low with no eyesight. That's how you shoot like a real man. <laughs> Uh, we're 52 minutes into it. Are we get? Are we done with this movie yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Are we done yet? Hold on, hold on. No, you know what? No, oh, no, 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 This movie dared to put it. This dared to put one of many subplots. Rando that's just leaving the house drops off a dog in a trash bag, and that's a subplot that ends up spreading yeah. itself by the end by Steven Seagal kicking the dude I, nuts. It makes me end. think that Steven was Seagal so mad was that they actually like dogs <laughs> and wanted to put that in a movie. That's I what it so, feels like. No, I was so mad they actually rolled back to that moment, that line that he said. I hope I find that guy someday. He literally found him the next day. I think it was at Coney <laughs> Island chilling. So let me t- hold up. Let me get this. Oh, all right. First of all, I'm not even a dog person, but seeing that shit, seeing yeah. that shit, yeah, it was sad. It was definitely sad for me. That's a real I, thing. That's a real, a real thing. thing. It, it, it is a real thing. And it, you know, like I said, I'm not a dog guy right. whatsoever. But seeing that I, shit, like seeing that shit, I was like, oh god, that's fucked up. Again, this is why I said this movie is called Everybody's a Piece of Shit. Yep. Yep. And somebody's probably saying, wait a minute, that happened back then? Do, do, do. It was called 80s into the 90s. <laughs> and people were a piece of shit to animals until about 1997. <laughs> you know who also made her uh, acting debut in this movie? Who? Shannon Weary. 
Really? Her first major role out for justice. Was this? Yes. Hell of a start, isn't it? Good. Hell of a Very start. <laughs> Erotic <laughs> thriller, Shannon Weary. First movie. I'm sorry that uh I'm sorry that you know you got typecasted from this point on. Man. Re uh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. The smile yeah. I give. That smile I give. That was the fucking 90s. <laughs> hey, my problem. That's how they fucking cast him. Put her ass in silk stockings and she caked up on that shit. Hey, hey, back. hey. You, you, were a, you were a you were a sir, sir. She was a background character in Rebecca's Secret. Sir, sir, I fucking hate that movie, and I don't, I don't, I vaguely remember that goddamn movie. <sighs> <sighs> fucking since Skinamax erotic thriller. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely a Skinamax movie. Barely a Skinamax. <laughs> barely qualifies as Skinamax, and yet Girl. it was on Skinamax. And yet it was Skinamax. It was like, you know, you know what? You're right. You want to know why it barely qualifies? Yeah, that those erotic that movies that no. don't, they don't go all. No, the I want to. No, 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 I want to hear this. No, no. I want to hear this. Go you ahead. Know why, you want to know why it's barely Skinamax? That shit came on at fucking nine forty five. That's too goddamn early for Skinamax. That's how you know that, that shit is Skinamax. Yo, actually no, because there's. Oh my god, D, are you going to tell this story? Yes, I am. Go ahead. Because gotta pet out this shit just like the movie, right? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I refuse because, to pet out this podcast. Some of those, damn it. <laughs> because some of those Skinner Max movies, and Eric can tell you, some of them they had it was just you know, uh, it was okay, and then there was the more risque version. What was the difference, D? Attempted Bush. I think that's what it was. It was just a more. There was something like that. Eric, 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 that was close, Eric. I'm, I'm with you on that. That was close. That was, I think the ones, that, was the ones that, that attempted, like I said, attempted Bush. You know, the, you know the ones that fucked me up. Oh, where, man. Where, where, where the ones where it's like, I think gonna show, imagine a grandma back in the day. I bet they're gonna finally show full cock in this. You know, the, you know, the, you know the actresses that threw me off. It was the actresses. What was it? Uh, what's Ooh. the chick's name? I think it was a Janet Mason. White white woman. She's like in her fifties at this point now. I think no. She's I think she's in her close to sixties right now. So you had to be the sixties. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Think about but all like, about but, touch, all yeah, touch. yeah. So 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 back then, it was weird to me that she was doing skin to max stuff. I'm like, but Janet, weren't you doing hardcore? Isn't that kind of like how you doing skin to max? Isn't that kind of like weird that you can't really insert dick when you're doing this? Like, is this I'm like, like, you know, like well, some of them was like, look, some of them like, <laughs> it's like contract, but like, what is your kids watching this? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, <laughs> like, oh, this is like the equivalent, <laughs> this, is the equivalent, this is like the equivalent of a serious actor. Like, you know what? I want some of that Marvel money. Put me in a Disney Plus show. Is that is that what this is? Is that what the equivalent is? I, I'm assuming that's what it is. Rob Julia, oh my hey, God. my kids play Street Fighter type shit. Is that <laughs> what it is? Uh, <laughs> hey, look, I try to show Skinner back some love. That's what my son first masturbated to. And you know, I'm like, yo, I gotta show oh love God. to that community. Because that community I had to do future. I had to do Lady Chatterley stories on Showtime. So, you know, had to get that check. You know, <laughs> oh my god, we've actually reached that point. We've got to the point now where we have interjected bam. No, not bam. We interjected Skinamax talk in an action Trump movie. First, first off, first off, we have Jeannie Gershon and, and Shannon Weary. That's that's the best segue to even talk about that. So no, look, Jeannie Gershon never showed full bush. Did she? It doesn't matter. She, showgirls, I thought she did. Showgirls, what did she do in Showgirls that was so awesome? Uh, like, getting like, pushed, getting get pushed, pushed down, get, the, get pushed down the, the Was that stairs? her or Elizabeth Banks? That that not Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks was the one that pushed her. No, 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 I'm talking about that licked the pole. Elizabeth, was the, yeah, the, was I, thought it was, I always thought it was Gina that did it for some reason. Oh, didn't they have like a lesbian scene like the pool yeah. or something? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All right, oh, yeah, yeah. So Janet Mason is 55. Okay, well, I was off, my bad, but yeah, it's you know, it's it's. Yeah, it's just you know this this movie is just like I I just never I have never seen a ninety minute movie pad itself and just the fact that Seagal dared to take out extra stuff because he felt William Forsythe was a threat is fucking hilarious to me and like you said Sue it's like this it's, level it's, of William this this Forsythe. level of Forsythe is what scared you Seagal really like okay I mean like yo the Sunday night movie of the week Will Forsythe I don't think Will Forsythe was. Forsyth about to kill D again. 
Oh, there he is. It's All a right. thing. It's a thing. Every time we, every time we invoke William Forsythe. Forsyth. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! I wish William, I wish William Forsythe popped up like the fucking Undertaker when he does the dong and then pops up behind him and shit. Still wearing that same duster and suit. <laughs> coked out of his mind. <laughs> coked out of his mind. Looking oh, like this. Forsythe. Looking Forsyth. like this. Forsythe. Forsyth. <laughs> He looks like this popping up my ID. So, so D, you say William Forsythe's name three times. This so, D, what what move would he do? It's lame as shit. It's just a regular power bomb. Wait a minute, what's he do? Oh, ah! dude, and everybody's gonna... like overreacting to a dude, regular, dude. regular vanilla power ball. And here's and here's Jr. This the far side, the far side. D, I'm gonna need you to stop. Two, I need you to stop. I need you to stop right now. I need you to stop giving this man any amount of Fucking credit. You right. know, no, you need you know for a damn fact. You know for a damn fact he will not do none of that shit. He will clearly do the running tackle that he did in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, no, Eris, Eris, Eris. He did the he falls on the ropes. He does the running tackle. Why? Why do I? Super oversell. Actually, guys, I have a, I have, I have a good, guys, I have a good question for you, because this, this is a good thing. Who had the best running tackle, William Forsythe in this movie, or Gary Busey running tackle Ice T in Survivor the Game? Nothing, nothing beats the Buse. Um, with TV? Ah! No, no, nothing beats the teeth. Nothing beats the ah! <laughs> chompers. I am mad William Forsythe and Gary Busey haven't done the movie together. Actually, 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 Chris, uh, for me, it was the uh, the tackle that uh, that Gary, I mean, that but Busey we were did. in orgy together. No, the one that Busey did to Chris Farley in Black Sheep. That was a good one. That was, that was a good one. one. That was a good one. That, that was, one. was a firm tackle. On that one, actually. Surprise, William Forsythe and Phil Sports. Me likes that. I'll tell you something. When I worked, Whoa, when I was, come on. <laughs> You got guys. You gotta understand. I played linebacker at, at the University LSU. of Minnesota. I was at the University of Minnesota for at least five years now. I had to stop and go to Vietnam because I actually left my car keys over there. See, actually, you know, I actually left the car over there. It was a 1997 actually Mitsubishi sedan. Now that I mentioned all this happened in 2017. Anyway, now, now, now that the, the reason why I think Five Guys is the best burgers. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. William Forsythe did do a good tackle against Nick Cage in The Rock to prevent. He did him. do that. That was a good one. Oh my! <laughs> that was God. also We're another good up one. On that, aren't we? Is that are we doing The Rock this year? I think we are. Uh, yeah, I think we are. That, that was a good tackle. Like, hey, you ain't gonna fucking disengage this nuke rocket so we can our us soldier can get our fucking GI Bill money. Fuck you. <laughs> our soldier can get our GI money. <laughs> Look, 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 only me and Eris can make these jokes because we're former soldiers. We'll be like, you know what? This guy has a point. He wants he his money from the government. Hey, he wants his man money. Is money. <laughs> Get his man his money. <laughs> right? This man got hey, kids. Look, man, the military ain't got J.G. Wentworth, man. So, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> Nigga, I got cut off. <laughs> I, I know, got right? to sell me. It means he, that was over at the... <laughs> the man won't let me smoke weed for a PTSD, so I got to take these bullshit-ass pills. So, you know. Which don't they do make my dick hard, hard as fuck. But I can't <laughs> fuck. I can't fuck. Why? Wife wife left me. Why did my wife let me? PTSD bill D, 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 these pills only work for direction. Don't work for my PTSD. Still see the rockets, nigga. What the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> the war in Iraq. Like, listen, up. like listen, I go to the bathroom and checking my six every time. <laughs> I almost choked out my wife. I thought she was a Charlie. Just uh. <laughs> I suplex my son on accident. That shit ain't funny. Now you hear me say that? I that's bet real. Two GIs that's real. That said some shit like that. That is real, and I'm I know we're I, not, look, we're look, not we're trying joking. to make light we're of it. Joking, but that's a real thing. Not, that is look, a real look, thing. Look, I have, look look. I had to take my father in law during his last days to the VA. Man, I fucking hated it. Man, oh, it ripped my heart out to see what all the crap veterans got to go through. Man. So I make light of it. Yeah, I'm making jokes, but no, no, no. My best friend, Eris, our best friend got PTSD, you know? So, yeah, I, I don't, look, look. The jokes I make, Ty's probably like, <laughs> hey, yo, dog, <laughs> you got to talk about the colors, though, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're so, right about that, because so, let's so be real. I, there are... look, I understand people might say something. I do this. I, I'm not trying to hurt nobody. Look, I mean, no, look somebody, that... somebody asked about us as black folks, why we joke a lot. And it's like, look, you got you got to laugh before you cry. That's just God damn it, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, do you realize Do you realize I've been cracking jokes at that fat ass cop that had to fucking punch the joke on his phone? You know, I've been cracking jokes all day because kids died. I about <laughs> that, I, I'm about to let I got like, no. It's like, yo, we laughed during COVID. Us as black folks joked about COVID deaths. I love, look, look, I fell in love with Cardi because Cardi said what I said. Oh, coronavirus. Ah! Turn this shit into a dying. song. Turn this she shit had, into a damn song. She had me die. She was like, niggas is dying. I'm like, yo. Like black folk, man. We look, look, I look, swear look. the media look. look, look, white look. I love how white people think they can be with us. Like, hey man, we're still gonna be making memes when the media comes. That's because niggas made it cool for you to do that. We already been making jokes about God killing all of us, and we just like I know the joke I'm making right look, before look, I look, go out. Look, look, look. No, see, look. we was we was all feeling ourselves when we didn't I think what was it for the first 30 days, we didn't hear about a single no black person dying from COVID. We were all like, oh shit, we immune like a motherfucker. And then all of a sudden, coronavirus like, was like, you thought. We was like, we was like, we was like, we was like, yo, December, what was it? Our December superpowers came late or some shit. COVID said, bitch, you thought. Boy, white, like, you feel like, hey, hey, black people, y'all forget how white people can make us sick. What did we realize? Hey, you know hey, that, right? Hey, hey, you hey, do look, realize hey, we did not have a disease until the white man came. <laughs> Americans saw it firsthand. Here's a blanket. Bam, and it's done. Fucking oh, done. Man. We did not see disease until the white man came. Do you Native, <laughs> Native Americans try to warn us, and it's like, dog, we got to take hey, it on man, the look, Sorry. Man, look, Sorry. One of them niggas cough. That's it, man. That's your set, <laughs> bro. That's the whole set. <laughs> oh God! Like I said, Native Americans and Black folks, man, we can crack them jokes all day because it's like, oh, yeah, yeah white, joke, white, 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 folks fucked us up. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. You know? Hey, man, it ain't my fault that we we got a we got a cavalcade of jokes. I mean, let's be real, D. If we Ooh. were black, can you imagine? Yes, if we're we do. Black- yes, and by the way, yes, we do. We do have the rock later on this year. Let's be deal with D. If we were black owners in that Italian neighborhood, and we saw Stevens and Go killing Italians. We'd be the first people laughing, like, "Hey, them motherfuckers had it coming." Should have ducked. Ah! Should have ducked, nigga. Actually, ah! here's my thing. How you let Stevens and Go catch you? See, you need to die. You need to die. <laughs> that is like a that is like a killer sloth killing you. I would be the black man that I owns guess a bodega. You were caught sleeping. What the fuck? How did that happen? I'd be the one black guy that owns a bodega in the Italian neighborhood. That's right, Steve. Get the motherfuckers. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. I'd be, be that one black guy still like still shining up that one glass going, see? I told you what was gonna happen if you ain't putting no black people up on the damn walls. You'd be the one black guy in that Italian bar that's like, hey, he didn't touch me. Nah, I'll be, be the old business. <laughs> I'll be the old black guy back. I'll be the old black guy who was playing chest out there with one of the Italians. We need more folk like that. I'm like, that no, here's me. Hold up, here's me. That's 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 me. That's oh, me. No, no, no. Dude, here's me. Dr. J portrait. That's all I asked. I just wanted a portrait of Dr. J. <laughs> well, if I got Rocky Marciano on the fucking damn on the wall. I just said one. I didn't say cover the walls, my nigga. I just asked for Muhammad Ali, and these motherfuckers thought that I was nigga, asking for fucking hold everything. Up, like, hold up. An 8 by 10 glossy. That's all I asked. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a question. You want the whole fucking world? You want the whole fucking wall look like fucking Harlem up in here? Man, is that what you fucking want? Nah, dog. So, but so only, wait, but only got wait, wait, Italian wait, 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 Whoa, 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 Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. It's okay. He's, he's a wise guy. He got a cool fucking mouth. We like that. We fucking like that about it. Hey, hey, I got a fucking question about you. This is my fucking establishment, and you fucking embarrassing me. So I'm only need you to shut the fuck up, all right? I'll tell you what's embarrassing. Like the lack of black, like the lack of like black appreciation photos up in this bitch. I'm just me saying the, one. Me I'm in the background here. One. 
O my D Sicilian the Negro. Yes, I called you Sicilian Negro. One. Harris, me in the background. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just asking for one. Like, you can you know give me one? Hey, I got a question. I got a question. Now, I just look, look, hey, 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 I give you fucking Muhammad Ali. I give you fucking Muhammad Ali. But think about it. How many other black fighters are better than all these Italian fighters up here? Nah, 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 nah. See, see, Ali, that's that's too easy. That's too easy. Look, look, somebody, look, look. See, me in the background. I'm talking about a completely different Name sport. somebody that ain't Rocky Marciano. That's Italian. That's good in boxing. And then we can start that. <laughs> hey, yeah. You know what? You know what? You know, I remember, you know Act, what? No, no, no. He was like, you know what? Yo, action, Trump. Go ahead and do your thing, man. I'm out. <laughs> And that's it for uh, Alfred Justice. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what more? There was a there. There was a line that. that bu, 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 what more can I? What nigga? What, what? What more? What yes. errors? Good answer. <laughs> what they know? See, all I'm asking is that if you find a screen cap of this movie, just screen cap the the, the subtitles of him speaking Italian. Perfect. Why? I love the fact they screen cap. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I think that's where I question how legit. That's what I really. I started. Really, I really questioned the validity at that conversation at that point. You would think at the beginning of it, I would have, but when it got to that point, I'm like, I really questioned the validity of this. You wouldn't think that would have crossed my mind. I mean, listen, listen, like, listen for anyone, like for anyone who was listening uh, to this podcast. I, if you watch this movie, you can understand why we did not go fully in depth with it because this movie padded the hell out of itself. It had yes, so it many, it, it had no business having as many subplots that it did for a movie that's a revenge story. Revenge movies are supposed to be simple and to the point. No bullshit, just straight. Hey, he's out for revenge. His boy got killed. Got you. Understand that, right? Yeah. But you put in all this extra shit that you didn't need. You had the perfect bad guy in William Forsythe, perfect revenge, perfect motive to go for revenge, but then you add all this extra shit. It's like, huh? It, is it just me, or did he really just try to do the same movie all over again with Marfa same movie. He did the same movie, but did. worse. But worse. Your movie with the Jamaicans was better because it was focused. I mean, come on. At least you had... Who knew? Hold on. At least you had, at least you had better... You had better reasoning to go over go out for revenge. They killed your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hard to kill. Killed your wife and yeah, hard to that kill. You didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Hard to kill. They killed your wife and a son that you didn't know that escaped. All right, cool. They killed. They try to kill you. Cool. Was it uh, uh the like I said the last one with the Jamaicans and stuff? They it killed your partner. Keith David comes in to help you for the tag in and stuff. All right, cool. You, you got motive there. This one, why did you add all this subplots? Why unnecessary? Why? I mean, wow. And look, the box office speaks a lot because, again, 60 million to 40 million on this one. Where the fuck did that money go? <laughs> well, they filmed it in New York. This is the first time that this is his first, okay. first movie they actually filmed on location in New York. And mm-hmm. I've got to, I got to imagine it was probably expensive to film in New York instead of just using parts of LA to disguise as New York. Makes so, sense. You know. But this nigga I'm, literally keeps his glasses <laughs> on in everything ever since what was this 2015? Nope. Yeah, ever since 2015, all of it. No, no, no. The sniper doesn't have a sniper special ops, which by the way is an incredible, terrible movie. So we probably only have one more. Yeah. One more movie, and that will be fire down below. Yeah. And I got to be honest with you guys. You might come hard I, on that movie. I got to be real. I got to look look at, look through it because it's it's one of the it's the last one that went to movie theaters. So I got to be honest with you. No, I think we're kind of. I think this is excellent. We're done with action, Trump. Really, when you really think about it, because I have a there's a low chance we're going to do fire below. A I, feel, I feel there's a better finale ender for this than than doing that, to be honest. I don't want to do the movie with him and Tyson. Oh, I, I don't want to do that. I, I want Glimmer Man, to be honest, if we're really going to. You know, I thought we did, we did Glimmer Man. Okay, we did. do. I think. No, 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 because Glimmer Man was the one with him and Keen Ivory Wings. We never did yeah, it. Yeah, we did do that. Did we? 
Yes, we did. Yes, we did, Chris. Okay. 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 Um, you know what I'm thinking? I was still. I'm. Th- I always get. Like I said, I always get that confused with Keenan Ivory and 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 Sean Connery. Yeah, the Sean Connery one. That's yeah, that's that's right. the one we did. I was about to say, Chris, please do not. Please. No, please. no, no. I know. No, I know. It's, no, no, it's, no. I'm saying no. All I was gonna say was, please, Chris. Chris, do not try to find a Firestorm in a Seagal movie. I, I know. Because the know, last time we tried to do Firestorm, we pull, I pulled an audible. <laughs> I mean, is it possible? Is is it very much possible that um, if if we did, if there if there if I found is another, a movie, if I found another Jason Speakman movie to do over Action Trump? No, 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 do. no. What I'm what I'm saying is, if there is a movie that I think we should do, this is just me. Kill Switch. Who's starring in that? Steven Seagal and the late Isaac Hayes. <sighs> Okay. The okay. Isaac Hayes. Okay, listen. Isaac Hayes fan of me says 100% yes. I'm only doing this for Isaac. It's like doing it for Isaac, guys. I'm doing do it for, for Isaac. Isaac. I have no other reason to do this movie except for Isaac. <laughs> Trunk. Listen, Action Trunk can be doing 16 backflips, and I wouldn't give a shit. Wow. I'm here for, I, I, would actually, I would stop no, for that. No, I am here oh, for oh. Isaac Hayes. Machete, he is right. No, that doesn't count. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. It, has all right. Be, it has to be Steven Seagal focused. So yeah. Machete. All right, all right, all right. All right. No, all machete. Right. Machete let's... is when we do. Machete is when we're doing uh, Treo. All right. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so let's let's try to. This is this is the this is the trailer for it. This is the trailer for it, guys. So I'm just yeah. saying, if you want to do it, don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but let's just see. Rolling hills of Appalachia. A deadly secret burns. Oh no! Barrels of cyanide growing down there right now. Ah shit! By the silence, I know, of right? The town living in fear. Young ones are dying. People down here don't take strangers. They do a hard day's work. Go to church. A gun, go. We have a special visit to draw community. Is that Jerry Ryan? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. World. You really are new here. No, no, okay. that one open door. What? Yeah. I can't hear you. Danger. What's this uh, smoke over here in the mouth? Oh, I can no. burn it. Twelve and a half years. Protect the innocent. You look prettier than a speckled cook. That's just what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck. Oh. Oh. You think I'm giving it back? One of these days you'll say the money ain't worth what's gonna do to my people. You need to be careful about slaying. See this a girl being a scientist? Turning a little hot around here. He's not moving. Yes. I'm a federal agent. It has to look like an action. A big action. Hmm. Explain the country girl. Oh shit! I'm gonna go take care of Hannah. Good people. Oh god! Yo! He pulled you the truck. Right. Yo! Okay, we might have one on our hands. You're right, Randy Travis. Yo, oh shit! We're watching Randy it. Nope. Travis. Yes. 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 Oh. yes. Did he yes, throw punch he somebody? Yes. Turns up the heat. You know, on second thought, with the loud ass jacket. Fire. Yes, we're doing it. Yeah, we're doing yes, it. Yes, we are doing it. I'm sorry. That's how we oh, end God. our last action Trump movie. No, 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 That's no, how we end no, that no. One. We're not Ooh. ending it. Hold on, we're not ending it. I still, I'm still circling back to. A very uh, long hiatus. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying I'm still circling back just as a bullshit bonus. The Isaac Hayes one, please. For what's Isaac, the that one. Now, what? What's the name of that one, though? Uh, Kill Switch. That was Kill Switch. Kill Switch. When did that come out? Uh, Definitely before he died. That's for sure. Came out in 2008. Damn right. Damn the year he died. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I got it. And yes, we Brian, we did. And yes, Brian, we did do eighth MS team. You can check it out in our archive. We did do that already. So, oh man, like I you said, there's a bullshit bonus. I, I am kill switch. I'm requesting kill switch. I, Randy Travis, holy crap, man! I don't see it. No yeah, it's, wow. yeah, it's kill switch. 2008. I see, no, I don't see the trailer for it. Oh damn! It didn't have a trip. Wow. Well, wow. it must be it might be good. 
It, it has to be that good. It's it's not one word. It's kill space switch. Is that it? Yes, I found it. Wait a minute. 48 seconds. Oh, you know it's great. Like I said. It was direct DVD era. Good. That was direct DVD era. It has era. to be good. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Let's wait, go. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. That's great. Come on, baby. I want to see how bad this is. Because Please I think it is going to be bad. Don't let me down. That's fucking Black Panther fucking Steven Seagal. <laughs> Here we go. I'm the White Panther. 40... <laughs> yes! I'm in. I'm in. What we do have is a series of gruesome murders committed in brute force. Body count as of today is five. What happened to your shape up? You will kill again right quick. And that's the truth. <laughs> That animal should be put to death. Will you make this over right now? Put the knife down or I put you down. I bet it's a girl, baby. It's 40 minutes of this movie. I ain't finished yet. I bet he's only in 20 minutes of the movie. I bet he's, he's not, not even in the trailer. <laughs> That's why I, I <laughs> Isaiah Hayes is probably in that movie for like two minutes total. Oh my god! And I guarantee you, the I guarantee the DVD cover they made it seem even... as though Isaiah. Yes, the DVD yes, cover probably yeah, made, probably they made did. Isaac Hayes look like they he was did. in the movie. Probably. I guarantee you, they did. Oh. It's the last performance I, of Isaac I, Hayes. I have to do a little that. look back. I hate like that. that. I hate that so much, and like during the uh, the straight to DVD era, because oh. so many movies did that shit. They will throw shit on the cover that's not even in the movie. Yeah, so far down below, and it's a big question mark after that. But I won't yeah. say I won't say question mark. I'll just say no. Like, I say no, 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 no. no I'm going. I'm going back. Four. I'm going back. I'm going back to what Chris said. Long hiatus, yeah. This is going to be long a long hiatus. hiatus. That trailer, that trailer made me say, "Yeah, this is after a long hiatus." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah uh-huh. Because, uh, because as much as I want to do fire down below, I feel like even with that, like, can we like extend that for like three years? Like, not talk about <laughs> EB Rats. <laughs> So what's we're up next? Done. So so we're we're on, we're on break. Uh, I know you're watching this live next week. Uh, we're gonna be in New York. Oh shit, New York. Uh, next, Diego, year, we're gonna be, next week we're gonna be at um, New York Comic Con. San, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Um, so we're definitely gonna be doing lives there on Instagram and our individual Instagrams in some way, shape, or form. So we'd be busy. And we still got episodes that are going to be dropping during that period of time. So mm-hmm. keep up with us while we're at San Diego. But if you were listening to the audio of this, um, we'll be back probably in a few weeks or so, probably after post Otacon, most likely. Post Otacon, most definitely, actually. Um, I could say probably um, it will be August, like everybody. It will be August, maybe the second week of August. We don't know. Yeah. Um, but we are taking a break. But the next time you hear us, we'll be finally going back to something that we love talking about, and we're definitely going to dig into this one Dragon Ball. We're going back to it, and this time TN showed up. So this would be oh, season joy. three. Yep. This season is that weird, one. this is that weird season where Goku saw Gohan again. <laughs> That was a weird like. What how many episodes was that like? Yeah, it was. It was. It was like twelve episodes. Quite a few. It, it, yeah, it was. Quite a few. It was literally like we're going on a journey again, and Goku gets into a weird tournament with the with the Universal Monsters, and it's like, oh shit, I see Gohan, and then boom, they're training for Tien, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I got. I gotta say though, that rabbit mask was hitting though. Yeah, wasn't it, man? I'm actually shocked that. Well, yeah, I see it every now and then, man. I said I saw the little neon version of it. People walk around with that one, man. But um. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So next time you hear us, we definitely Dragon Ball, and uh, yeah, we've been, I've been waiting to go back to talk about Dragon Ball because, oh man, it, it, like, like it was something that it was it was something that crit, it was something I noticed, man. That like as much as um everybody rags on Dragon, everybody rags on Dragon Ball. It's like to me, perfect. The horse on fire version of Dragon Ball was Dragon Ball. Then Dragon Ball Z, eh, eh, Super's all right. Super's the elegant looking horse. GT is the stick figure. So, you know, it's all good. The fact that the revisionist history is strong with GT, and I'm like, guys, you are It not is weirdly strong, isn't it? 
I mean, look, you can it like you can like certain different. parts of it, but yeah, still stick figure horse for me. It, it, it's it's weird. It'll forever be stick figure. Like yeah. I said, if, oh, <laughs> like I said, if Akira didn't touch it, it don't exist. It like it's kind of weird. Super, I can say this looking back on Super because I'm looking I'm looking over with my kids. I think it's not as good as it's not as good. Of course, it's not as good as Z. Just being real, but you want to know the truth? All of this is better than the Boo Saga. All of this is better than the Boo Saga. Even this stupid ass shit. You know what? I didn't know that hit did all of that just to get body the way he did in the, in the uh, tournament of power. Well, 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 I, well, I mean, I mean when you when them. you come when you come along and have an apex predator that's better than you roll up on you and I mean <laughs> no, but of all think about it, Freezer survived longer than hit. That told me something. Soon as Garen rolled, soon as Garen rolled up on him, it's like, oh, that shit you did to Goku and them. That shit don't work on me. Sorry, boy. Bit. I like how I like I, I looked at how Gohan survived that and like how he di- how you know how he got out the tournament. And I thought to myself, you know what? It's so sad how people clown you. Why did they clown you for this? Man, he didn't survive to the end. What made you think that was going to happen? Yeah. It's, <laughs> like, it's, it's it's like I say with comic characters. It's the hate should never be directed at the character. It's to it the writers. Be. It should the writers. And even if it was the writers, it's like, yo, dog, you still flipping pages, ain't you? Yeah, we need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, but I think... I, I, no, but I, this I, is what happens when you write your character into a literal corner. No, I mean, it, well, I won't even say literal corner. It's 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 what a lot of comic book writers do at times where you write to the fans' demands and you don't need yep. to. Yeah. Like, no, that's not, and, and I wouldn't no, even say that's writing scene. Gohan to the corner. It's like, well, we need something. Nah. It's basically you're elevating one character and fucking over the other one, which is, it goes to your point. I believe Vegeta. I believe yeah, Vegeta no, more but, than Goku. I personally blame, blame the 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 love and admiration of Vegeta for fucking up Gohan's bag. To be honest with you, personally, that's why I feel like I don't know. No, but see, but Gohan's run was always the same old thing, which is you build him up to this point, and then then when it's time to put up a shut up, he falls flat. Mm-hmm. But then, oh, something catastrophic happens, and then he's taken up here, and that's been his thing from the time he was from the time he was knee high all the way up until the freaking Cell games. And, I was and then, and then, hold on, and then because Akira Toriyama was put into the corner again of having his own property be more popular than it's ever been, fuck, I gotta write this. So you decide to write one of the most complicated, well, I won't say complicated, but one of the most bullshit villains ever of Majin Buu, and you had it go on for so long, so damn long. That I mean, that you somehow circled it back to bring in Gohan to the uh, like to this point of oh he's gonna be the hero he's gonna be the main hero nope we still gotta bring in Goku and for a bullshit bonus let's bring in Vegeta let's introduce the two of them doing the fusion and there goes Gohan's future as a as one of the most powerful characters in the uh, the Z lineup. And then, and then, and that's, at that point it's like Gohan what do we do with you and that's what I said that's what made no sense to me and that's why I felt, felt it was so weird because I had to see because like I said I'm re-looking at, the, at, at Super and I had to see Gohan literally play point guard for this fucking team keeping them alive this fucking long actually putting in strategy and all that going out like a G in the tournament and I remember the day it happened everybody on Twitter Go on a bitch. Why'd he write him like this? It's like he went from a nigga in a jumpsuit that got rolled to being the last six people in this damn tournament. And y'all go, man, he a bitch. He's still, he still some trash. And here's the thing. I bet Akira saw that in Japanese. It's like, this is why I don't write for this nigga. Because every time I do it, it's funny. Come so it's it's it's, stupid. I don't even say. I'm not even giving that as here is open to right. No, no, no. That's not why I'm open. No, no, no. This is a a thing. I think. D, it's funny saying that because this is coming from the same guy who will create characters and then forget that he made them in the first place. Guys, like, guys, no, no, guys, no, no. guys, right guys. There. You said this, his lunch. That's right. Ah! <laughs> guys, 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 we have to stop because we padded this shit out like the Steven Seagal movie. At oh this my point. God, we just did. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hour and a half. We padded the shit out. Congrats. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Right, y'all. Hang we this shit up. Hang break. it up. We see y'all after the break. We done with this shit, y'all.